morning, everybody. It is Sunday, November 12th, I think. I think. Let's see. Yes, 9.42 a.m. Um, I looked at my husband's work phone. Don't get excited. Anyway, uh, he's over at the gym. I'm taking it easy with exercising right now because if you didn't watch my last vlog, uh, my hip's been bugging me. Um, you know, I'm, I, I do have arthritis and whether it's the arthritis or I've pulled a muscle lifting up junior because, you know, he's 27 pounds. I don't know, but it is getting better slowly. And, um, you can see that I'm walking around when I first get up in the morning now, it's still sore, but once I start moving and get going, it, it feels relatively okay. But yeah, I'm taking it easy on it. We don't want to go backwards. So I am going to just relax this morning now that I've done some chores. And while Bob's at the gym, we do have to go grocery shopping at some point, but I'm not sure we're going to do it today. We are babysitting. The kids have a date with friends, a kidless date with friends. And so we're going to take Junior for a few hours this afternoon and maybe the dog. I don't remember if they said they were bringing the dog or not. <laughs> So anyway, uh, it is rainy again because, of course, I live in the land of much water, otherwise known as Oregon. But that's okay. I like the rain and I like the cold. I'm going to sit down on the couch and play some YouTube in the background and work on a pair of gloves that I started last night. So <sighs> let's get to it, shall we? I'll be back. I would say good morning, but it's just after lunch. <laughs> it's Monday, November 13th. and. I've just been lazing the morning away. Um, on the project list this week is finishing a pair of socks I started last night. And I have a vacation um, slash art journal I need to make from our summer vacation to Virginia. That's going to be an upcoming video. Um, I also have some cleaning and reorganizing and purging to do up here in the art room. So those are all on the list this week besides the duties of Oma and um, all of that stuff. So I'm taking the quiet moments when I can because yeah, I also have to edit the vlog before Wednesday morning, but you know, all right, <sighs> that's it for the minute. I'll be back. You ever have one of those days where you have lots of stuff to do, but no motivation to do any of it? Yeah. I think I'm going to make myself do some of it anyway. I'll be back. I said earlier in that list of things I wanted to do that that was for the week, right? Because, <laughs> I mean, I got the journal finished and the video for it filmed, which is amazing because I was really like kind of not wanting to do anything today. Um, but I didn't get anything else done. <laughs> I'm going to be lucky to clean the mess up. I didn't get the video vlog edited either. And now I've got this other video to edit. So tomorrow when I'm not babysitting Junior, I will be doing that. And I do think his picture showed up on the video a couple times because I had my phone out and he's on my, my phone on my wallpaper. So I'm going to have to, yeah. Anyway, alrighty, <laughs> I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, November 14th, and it's about 9.30-ish a.m. I'm trying to get the vlog edited before Junior gets here for babysitting, so I've got the computer on, and it's rendering right now. I do have the um, vacation journal video that I filmed yesterday to do yet. The um, SD card is loaded into the computer and ready to go, but we've got to let the computer do this before I do that. One thing at a time. Um, so I think I'm going to just sit and relax a little bit, not push it or the computer. And if we get it done before he gets here, cool. If we don't, I'll do it when he goes home, it's, you know. And then we've got, of course, more stuff on the table. I got my order from Little Knits in Seattle last night. They were so sweet. Um, it looks like the whole staff wrote thank you all over the invoice when they were packaging the order. That was so sweet. I will link their uh, website down below. I got some Cascade Aereo Duo yarn, which is 
uh, I don't even remember. I don't know. It's a it was a pack of five skeins in um let's see. I not only don't have any lights on, I mean my glasses are far away. <laughs> okay, let's at least put the glasses on. Okay. Um 47% merino, 31% alpaca, 22% nylon. And there is 240 yards per hank, which should be enough for a beanie. So I got one in this brown color. I have two in this dark variegated gray and two in the lighter variegated gray. It came as a bundle for under 30 bucks, all five skeins. Um, we got Ella Ray. DK Merino Superwash uh, wool, and this is in the color Mantis Dance. It's a pretty green, and there were five skeins of that in one bag, and 260 yards per hank. That's plenty enough to do a wearable for me. And the last one we got was another Cascade. It's a 220 Superwash, 100% um, Superwash wool. And each one of these has 220 yards. I got this pretty blue color. Is there a name on here somewhere? Um, nope. It is color number 1944. But it's this pretty blue. And I got five of those. And it came all came yesterday. So I need I need to put all that away. And I still have this out from last week. Um, and then, of course, some patterns. I think I have a bunch of cotton, and I tried making a sweater with some of it, and I, uh, you know, I'm still thinking if I should frog the sweater. I'll put a picture here. Um, not super happy how it turned out. I don't think it's the pattern. I think it's the yarn. I'm going to try the pattern again with something else. But anyway, I do think I'm going to take my cotton yarn, and I'm going to make some crocheted baskets. So I found this pattern from Yarn Inspiration's um, website. It's a Brene uh, crochet handy basket pattern. So I think I'm going to, yeah, but I need to put like all these patterns away. Anyway, none of it's going to happen right now. I'm going to just sit and relax and have some water before Junior gets here because yeah, that's an all-encompassing of your attention thing when you're babysitting. So, all right, I'll be back. I should say um, the three projects I had this week that I wanted to get done were um, the video editing um, the travel vacation journal, which I got done yesterday, and that's one of the videos I need to edit. Um, and I have some, um, cleaning and purging I want to do up here in the small bits bank. And if I can get the video editing done today, I don't really have a ton of errands that I have to run tomorrow. Um, and I have to go out on Friday anyway to take the daughter to the airport. So... I think tomorrow might be the cleaning day if I can get all the video editing done today. So we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, it's just about six o'clock. As you can see, it's dark outside. Um, it's winter in the Pacific Northwest and many other places gets very dark, very early. Anyway, um, I did get all the video editing done today and got it loaded to the two channels, which really shocks the crap out of me because part of it was done when he was on my lap. Um, but I had toys to distract him from what Oma was doing. And um, he was such a good baby and allowed me to get it done. And we stopped doing it um, at the appropriate time. I was finished. The computer was done. And he was chewing on my desk. So I figured it was time to be done. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, but I got it done. So I think tomorrow, um, I think tomorrow I might not run any errands. I think I'm going to stay home. I have some more rearranging and purging I want to do as I make peace with the Arty, arty, crafty, creative things I love to do and letting go of those I don't. Which at the at this point means reorganizing the bits bank, which to be honest, before I got to the point of realizing I don't really like that. Um, 
I went through the bits bank every now and then anyway, because I put things away in a drawer and it's a way away. And then I forget I even have it. And um, it's way past time to clean it out and get rid of stuff. And I'd like to consolidate some things I have up on the pegboard wall above the bits bank, put them maybe in the drawers and maybe if I can manage to put the stickers somewhere, get those out of the closet because they do seem to be referring to them a lot um, and hang some of my yarn up on the wall. I'd, I'd really like to do that. So, and some of my trims and stuff. So we'll see. It requires taking a, a lot of that apart. Uh, we'll see. But we're going to do that tomorrow. And also I'm going to work on my socks tomorrow. Those are my two things. So anyway, I think that's the plan. If I do go anywhere, it'll just be like real quick to Dollar Tree, but I don't think I need to do that. So anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and get out said socks and do some crocheting. Mr. Bob's in a meeting. I can hear him talking and um, he's still, so he's still working. And after that, we'll have some dinner. I'm not super hungry, but I think I'll just have some soup or something. And yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. All right. I'll be back. Guys, it's just about 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday, November 15th, I think. Uh, yes. Yes, the 15th. Um, you know, I've just had a quiet start to the day. Not mad about that. Um, just relaxing today. Although I did just get in trouble from the husband for moving all the furniture around by myself so that we could get our little robot vacuum hazel to clean the floors downstairs. And he's not wrong. <sighs> yeah, so I should have asked for help, but you know, I didn't. I didn't want to interrupt him. I knew he was working, so there's that. Anyway, we're going to do some cleaning up here in the art room and purging today, but First, I'm going to just sit and relax now that I've gotten showered and dressed and I'm going to have a snack and watch some more YouTube and then, then we'll get going. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, it took me a couple hours, but I got it done and I stopped agonizing over bits and pieces. You know, there were things in these drawers that I was never going to use again that I collected to try. I didn't like them, wasn't happy with them. And, you know, I had some of them I hadn't touched since we moved into this house five years ago. So I had to go and times are changing. And every now and then I need to clean out and resort the bits bank anyway. So it is not unusual for me to do this. If you've been around for a while, you know that. But anyway, so now all of my stickers are here and my other small bits and pieces. Paper is in the closet, which is where it should be. I have journals out that I'm currently working with or on, and we have sewing notions back up on the wall. Yay. Having them in a drawer was not working for me. I did get rid of a couple of things that I was, I'd already used most of it. I don't need to save every scrap. And my pigments, because I do use those not only for watercolor, but I use them occasionally for dyeing fabric. And then yarn. I love my yarn collection. So I'm really, I'm really liking the way this turned out and yeah, the only uh, thing I did, I had to fix was this drawer. When I pulled it out, it fell out and then it broke and I had to, I had to put it back together. And I just realized that it doesn't have a label. I guess for the moment that's okay, but <laughs> um, those are all book binding threads and embroidery stuff. So anyway. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, uh, I got to decide, do I want to do the dishes or do I want to crochet my socks? Well, I don't want to do the dishes, but I probably ought to. <laughs> We've been running the robot vacuum um, on and off all morning. So I'm going to wait until Bob's um, done with work and have him help me put the furniture back. Um, I got in a little trouble when I did it by myself this morning. So there's that. Anyway, let's go get the dishes done so I can come up here and crochet. All right, I'll be back. You know, the leaves were just falling off the trees in the wind. And of course, as soon as I get the camera out, it stops. 
I don't know what that is, all garbage. It's like when I try to take get pictures of birds. You know, they sit still until they see me and then they fly away. Because why not? <sighs> all right. Time for dinner. Okay, grandson and his mom have gone home. I am helping get them to the airport tomorrow. They're going out of town for the weekend. Um, and Bob is off tonight to Masonic Lodge meeting. So I'm gonna go for a walk. It's not too dark yet, but I do have a flashlight in my pocket. I'm just gonna go make it a quick one. And then come home and work on my socks. I'm gonna work on a, another new stitch. I'm learning new stitches, people. Because why not? All right. Um, yeah, let's go see what we can see. It's kind of dark out, but you never know. I'll be back. Hey everybody, it's just after 9 a.m. on Friday, November 16th, I think. I don't even know. Hold on. It was only a day off. Are we surprised? Um, anyway, it is Friday, though. <laughs> um Today's gonna to be kind of a busy day. I am headed out already this morning because I need to go pick up a few groceries. It's family dinner night and um, one set of kids is headed out of town. The other set of kids is busy, but it's gonna be Bob and I and my dad. Um, so we are, um, it's gonna be just the three of us. Well, and the dog, because we're dog sitting. Um, so I'm gonna go pick up some food this morning and then around lunchtime, I have to help get Rebecca and baby Junior over to the airport. Bob might come with us. I'm not sure. He said something about it last night. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. And then, and then just dinner time. So, um, which is plenty. That's plenty of stuff for me to have on my plate today. I have to know when to say when, and uh, I just can't do days where I'm just like busy every five minutes of the entire day. I, I can't do that. So anyway, in between, I'll be working on my uh, socks. I have one more socks to so one more socks, one more sock to finish, and then I'm gonna start on another sweater. So there's that. And I might simultaneously do sweater and afghan. We'll see. I've got like three afghans to do. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for the minute. All right. I've had two cups of coffee, but I don't feel awake. Is it just me? All right, I'll be back. Hey, guys. So, yes. I'm wearing my blanket coat. I've got my hat I just made on and my gloves. We're headed out for a walk. It's just about eight o'clock. My dad just went home from family dinner night. It was just the three of us tonight, which was fine. Um, I have a commission I'm gonna be doing for him. Um, a travel journal from his trip to Italy. Sorry, it is dark outside. Um, so I'll be filming that for YouTube. Well, for, yeah, for YouTube. Uh, details, detailed videos for Patreon, and uh, that'll be something to look forward to. Anyway, right now, we're going to go get a few quick steps in. If you didn't hear, we are dog-sitting Grand Dog Lily while her parents are out of town, and uh, we're going to go get a few quick steps in. It is very cold, but that's okay. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, it's Saturday. November 18th, I think. Something like that. Something like that, yeah. We just got done picking up some free yarn from my local Buy Nothing group. Um, we are now going to take Num Nuts for a W A L K. Num Nuts. Num Nuts. Crazy pants. Crazy pants, yeah. I do have to do the dishes today, but we're going we're gonna to put, put that off a little bit. I know. Go, yeah, deal with that first. I know. So anyway, <laughs> I'll be back.
guys, it is 10 p.m. on Saturday. Mm. And mm. again, I still don't know what date it is, but let's see. It's uh, oh, the 18th. 18th. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, I've been crocheting all day. I can't say I'm mad about it. We really didn't do much. We went walking and picking up the free yarn this morning, and the Mr. Bob washed the cars. But it's um, raining out. But it's yeah. raining out now. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, anyway. Um, you know, we did a couple of small chores, but we didn't do a whole lot. And I can't say I'm mad about it. I started another afghan. That's the one I already finished back there. I'll put a picture of it here somewhere um, with some chunky, bulky yarn I've been getting thrifted or gifted. And um, a couple of skeins that I bought um, inexpensively, like at Walmart. And uh, yeah, I love the way it's coming out. Anyway, uh, I like making scrap afghans in case you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I see. It's the thing. I also, I'm like sitting next to like this because obviously I like doing that too. So, you know, it's a thing. Anyway, that's it for this week. It's been a fun one. I do have some, I think, interesting videos coming up that I, well, I need to film them first, but I think they'll be interesting. And anyway, so stay tuned. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube and ready access to me, uh, chats with me, a private YouTube channel with so many videos that you guys never see over here, um, join my Patreon. Think about it. So anyway, uh, the link is down below. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And yeah, like, share, and subscribe. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to finish my puzzles for the day, the night, night. And I don't know what we're getting up to tomorrow, but that's for next week's vlog. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye. Goodbye. See, there you go.